Yo, what's up? This is DJ Lazy Eyes, and I'm about to give you a tutorial on how to have the song that you're playing in Serato DJ show up on the screen when you're doing a live stream. I hope this spreads around. DJ start doing this because if you're like me and you watch a live stream DJ and you hear something dope, it'd be really nice to know what they're playing, um, and it's also how we spread good music to other people. So before we get into all that, though. This is my Instagram info. Make sure to follow me. Also, I do a party called The Solution in Denver, Colorado. If you're ever here in a non-COVID world, definitely check us out or follow us online at Denver Solution on Instagram and The Solution Live on Twitch. In order to catch us, we DJ every Friday night and I do the party with my homie, DJ Lowkey. Also, a few things. I'm not going to cover exactly how OBS works, which is one of the programs you will need to do this, but definitely check out my YouTube page where I have a brief OBS tutorial. Also, you can check out one of my DJ sets as well. So make sure to check that out and follow me on YouTube. In order to do this, you are going to need a Windows PC that you're using to live stream from, not necessarily DJing from but your OBS and camera and everything should be going through a Windows PC because the program we're going to use is only for Windows right now. They do not have a Mac version, so make sure you have a Windows PC. And of course, the program that I'll be showing is OBS. I'm sure it might work with some other broadcast programs, but the one I know and I'm going to be showing how to use is OBS. So we're going to start off with Serato DJ, and again, this is only going to work with Serato DJ Pro. Uh, you do have to have an extension pack for Serato. If you go into settings over here, expansion packs, you have to have a feature called Serato Playlist. So Serato Playlist is a feature that I did not know about, but what it does is it takes your song history and it saves them. You can either save it to your computer or you can actually save it to the Serato website. And this is really how it all works. It uploads your playlist to the Serato website. Then we have a separate third-party program that I'm going to tell you about that pulls that information, saves it to your live stream computer, and then OBS is going to read that file. So that's kind of how it works in a nutshell. It is a Serato expansion pack, so if you pop it open here and you don't see it, that means you will probably need to buy it from Serato in order to have it in your Serato DJ Pro expansion pack library. So when you do have Serato playlist and both boxes are checked, you can see if you go to your history, over here is where the Serato playlist features show up. Now there is one issue with Serato Live where it doesn't automatically always pop up. So usually what I have to do is I have to go in here, uncheck it, go back, go back, check it again in here, and then the Start Live playlist will show up. That's important because that needs to show up in order for everything to work. When you click it, it will automatically connect with your website, which is important because you do need to be connected to the internet. And then it'll show up here. You do need to be logged in to the Serato website. Here you can see the playlist is currently private. That's important to change because if it's private, the program that we're going to talk about later will not read the playlist. So you got to go in to edit details, make it public, and you're going to have to do this every single time. Hit save changes and then it goes away. And so what it does is every song that you play will show up here in the playlist track list. So once you're all connected, anytime that you select a song and input it into Serato, it will then show up on the website. See? program we're going to use is called Serato Now Playing. So just go to Google and Google that and Serato Now Playing and it will take you to a website called GitHub which is where you're going to find the file to download. So you'll go into here you can see Serato Now Playing and you want to go to download the current version click that and then you will download the zip and install it to your computer. Once you've downloaded the program and open it, this is what it looks like, it's the Serato Now Playing tool. So there's a couple things you're going to have to edit and change up here. Up here is the time. 
So what this program actually does is it goes to the Serato website and pulls the playlist information and saves it to a text file. So the way Serato playlists and this program works is it doesn't actually know what song you're really playing. It just shows the most recently loaded song onto a deck. And so the timing on this is how often the program is going to check the Serato playlist website for the most recently uploaded song onto a onto one of your turntable decks and it will then copy that information and save it to a text file. So the timing is important. It defaults with 90 and I found that 900 works. I don't know exactly how many minutes that will be um, but it tends to basically update every two minutes which is about how often maybe I change a song. Again, this is not seconds. Um, it's a different term, um, but it's not seconds. And so I've just found that 900 is what works for me. Feel free to play with this number to what you think feels comfortable. Um, but again, it's important to realize how this actually works. It doesn't actually know the song that you're playing. It just knows and displays the most recently uploaded song to one of your virtual or your turntable decks. So the next field you're going to have to edit is right here. This is where it's going to look up your profile or your playlist on the Serato website. So right here where it says profile name, you do need to make sure it's exactly like your profile name. And when you pull up the playlist on the Serato.com website, you can just look in your web browser to see exactly how it's spelled. But I do think the caps locks and everything is going to be important. So you put your name in there. So the next important part is right here. So again, what this program does is it takes the most recently uploaded song to the Serato playlist website and saves it to a text file. So here you're going to tell it where that text file is. So you'll create a text file somewhere on your computer and then point it to that. So here on my desktop, I have a text file that's just current track. It does need to be a .txt text file. And then you'll save it and point it to that. And that's where it's going to read, again, the website and save the most recently song into that text file. Then save it if you can, and then you will hit start, and then it will just start reading from the Serato playlist website. So the last piece is OBS, and this is where, of course, you're going to have it pop up in your live stream um, in your OBS. So as you can see here, I have the now playing, it's scrolling, and what I did is I created, it's a, basically a, the text and a graphic. So uh, the graphic itself, you'll want to create, um, of course, um, and then you'll have the graphic where you, however you want to display it. So make sure you have that graphic there. So for the text, you will go into your sources and you'll select text. Uh, when you do, you can, you'll come up with these properties and you'll select whatever fonts you want. You want it to read from file. This is important. You want to make sure to select read from file and then you're going to point it to the text file we were talking about earlier wherever it is on your computer. Here we have ours. It's current track.txt saved on the desktop and that's where you can point it to and that's when it's going to read. So there's other settings in here like the color of your font, background colors, um, other stuff that you can adjust if you want in order to make it look how you want it to. And I just want to show you, so if you go to that text file on your computer, basically the program will write to the text, uh, to the text file, as you see here, and that's what uh, OBS is going to read and display. If you want it to scroll, which I recommend, click filters, right click filter, and then here you see there's a bunch of different settings you can have for the text, and you click on scroll. If you click scroll, then here you have a bunch of settings, you can determine how fast it goes, uh, the sizing, um, and different speeds and things like that. So adjust it to your uh, preference and you want to make sure that you clicked the loop button in case you wanted to scroll, which again I highly recommend. And then there you go. It will read from that text file, display it, and scroll it. And that's basically how you have it all show up uh, on your DJ live stream. So 
Hopefully that helps. Again, it's going to be really important to know that it's not going to recognize the actual song you're playing. It just knows the song that's most recently loaded into a Serato DJ deck. Um, again, it only works with Serato DJ Pro, and you have to use a Windows PC for uh, wherever, whatever you're live streaming from. Um, they don't have a Mac version of the Serato Now Playing app. Um, not sure if they will in the future. So that's all I got. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, and again, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you all on the DJ live streams.